So I was just up the street at my high school, right? You would think this was harmless, but it's now 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. and they don't know where I am. It's 2 a.m. and I'm with someone who graduated high school the year before. Whoops. Nothing romantic. He was a very, very honorable human being. He went on to be a police officer in our town. Well, he decides to bring me home. me home. He drove me all the way up to the house and asked if I wanted to be walked to the door because every light in my house was on, of course. I said, oh no, I've got this. I'm, I'm a very responsible teenager. <laughs> and I went in. Uh, my dad really wasn't all that upset. He figured I was totally fine. He had a good grasp on things. My auntie, of course, was a disaster. She pulled the full-on female, holy crap, where have you been? I'm so disappointed in you, yada, 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 yada. So I apologized, I went to bed, I woke up the next morning, and I decided that the best thing for me to do at that moment in time was to ground myself. Yes, ground myself. It's the summer in between my eighth grade and freshman year, and I'm going to ground myself for three weeks. A few days into the self-grounding, my dad comes into my room and he goes, um, what's going on? I said, what are you talking about? And he goes, You've been home for the last few days. It's highly unusual for you. You're a 14-year-old girl. You've got friends. What's happening? And I said, well, I disappointed you the other night, and I, I know I scared you, and I know I was just up the street, but it wasn't right, and I'm super sorry. And he just started laughing, like full-on hee-hawing at me. And he goes, oh, darling, never punish yourself when nobody else is holding you accountable for it. You were in integrity. You made an honorable decision. And I know you're responsible. Now go out and have fun. You're a teenager. You're supposed to break all the rules. You're supposed to get in trouble. I'm supposed to pick you up from jail. These are all normal high schooler things to do. Get it out of your system before you get too old and they may take you very seriously. And I just remember thinking, would any other parent that I went to school with do this to their children? Probably not. But I can tell you this, nope, I never went to jail. He never had to pick me up from any sort of authority figure. I realized that trust and boundaries were super important and that my dad was taking life way lighter than his very young redheaded daughter who was incredibly intense, logical, and serious at the time.